New tonight at 10, just in the past three hours, jurors spared the life of convicted movie theater shooter James Holmes, the same jury that rejected Holmes's insanity defense and convicted him of killing 12 people and trying to kill 70 others in 2012. They deliberated for just under seven hours. We, the jury, do not have a unanimous sentencing, final sentencing verdict on this count, and we, the jury, understand that as a result, the court will impose a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. In order for Holmes to have been sentenced to death, every juror would have had to agree. Now, just this week, a man in a surgical mask armed with pepper spray and a hatchet and a pellet gun attacked some moviegoers in Tennessee before he was killed by the police. And a couple of weeks ago, a gunman opened fire in a movie theater in Louisiana, killing two women. Eyewitness News reporter Alexa Ashwell is live in Gastonia tonight, where extra security measures are now in place at a theater there. Alexa? Well, Erica, it's Friday, obviously a busy night for movie theaters across the country. As you can see, the parking lot is full here at Regal Cinemas. People here told me they have a new level of alertness after recent shootings, and that's why they appreciate any added security. There's a new sign posted outside this Regal Cinemas here in Gastonia, and it's not advertising the latest must-see movies. Rather, a warning. Employees may search your bags before you take your seat inside the theater. That's a good idea. A policy that's not necessarily new, but one that's being practiced more after recent shootings in movie theaters across the country. Earlier this week in Nashville, Tennessee, and a few weeks ago in Louisiana. That one happened almost three years to the day. Twelve people were shot and killed inside a theater in Colorado. I think about the danger. And in a place where concealed firearms are not permitted, moviegoers here welcome the added protection off-duty police officers provide as security guards. It just steps us up a little bit more as far as looking for suspicious things. And Regular patrols are also providing an extra set of eyes at this theater in Mooresville. Maybe pulling in front of the theater and uh, working on paperwork in our cars. And parents we spoke with are doing their part too. We walked in the theater first and looked around before looked around, we yeah. took the kids in and stuff. So, but yeah. no, we felt pretty safe. In all, people said they plan to keep going to the movies, but welcome any other security measures such as metal detectors. They do it in airports and people get along with it. So, I mean, you just never know. We're told masks and props of fake weapons are also prohibited here, as they are in many other movie theaters across the country. Reporting live in Gastonia, Alexa Ashwell, Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 10.